Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Case Place. So, how have you guys been? It has been crazy for me since I went to my conference in um, Indiana. Um, I've had unexpected house guests. I have a horrible head cold. So, um, <clears throat> I haven't been doing a whole lot, but I have been doing a little bit of shopping. So, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. Um, this is just going to be my Tuesday morning haul. I've got quite a few other things. I picked up some things while I was out of town. I've picked up some things since I've been back in town. So, let me show you guys what I picked up. Oh, hold on just a second. Let me grab this real quick. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Had to, um, go answer my husband. So, <clears throat> I picked up quite a few crafty things. I picked up one non-crafty thing for those of you who have puppies. So we are constantly taking our puppies places with us. And I saw this Bella Roma travel bowl for dogs. Looks like this. And we have a water bowl for our dogs, but we take them places with us all the time. And I thought this was so neat. Um, and it was actually open kind of or halfway open when I saw it. So let me show you guys how this works. I think it's so cool. I know you didn't really watch this to see how my dog bowl works, but it's really cool looking. So it's got this little locking thing here on the back of it and you turn it till the two pieces meet and then, oh, you gotta take, sorry, I forgot to take the little carabiner off, which is kind of a pain in the tushy to take off, but that's okay. So you take this little carabiner off and there we go take the little carabiner off and then the little pieces come open and they fold down like a little spider and then the little bowl comes open like that and it sits down like on a floor like that and you can also store food in it and the food won't come out while you're traveling so you can leave the bowl popped up and you can lock it and the food won't come out so you could keep a little day's ration of food in there for your dog is that not the cutest little bowl i just thought that was so sweet i haven't shown that to my husband yet i forgot to show it to him when i came home earlier and then when you put the little carabiner in there it locks it closed so so that was so stinking cute Okay, now on to crafty stuff. <laughs> so, um, I am the worst friend, like horrible friend. I have been supposed to be sending my friend this box full of things for a month now. And I am literally the worst friend ever because I haven't sent it yet. But when I was out of town, I found the little birdie, little birdie handmade embellishments that go with the, um, Violet Garden Purple Collection, and I found her the embellishments, and I found the little um, bag full of thought for the purple. So I bought both of those to stick in her box full of goodies. So I picked both of those up. And then I also found by, um, these are called Spring Berry Clusters, and they're by Petaloo. And they look so cute. And I thought these would go with um, some of the collections that I have. And they were regularly $1.99 and they were 20% off. But aren't those adorable? And so I picked up two, the only two packages that they had on clearance I picked up while I was out of town. I know for sure I picked those up while I was out of town. The rest of this stuff... Mm, it's all a little fuzzy where it all came from. So I did pick up a house mouse um, stamp. This one is a Christmas one. It's Santa Mouse. Um, I don't think any of the um, number things are working anymore. Um, I'll give it to you just in case, but it's 2149074 and it's $1.99. And that's what he looks like. Is he not precious? 
He's so cute. Some of the house mouse ones I like a lot, and I really liked him. I did pick up the um, this Momenta set of stamps. It's called... Oh, they just give you a number with Momenta. It is... Six four four three, but it's they called it clear baked love. Um, it's 12, 12 stamps, I think. It's baked with love, handmade with love with heart, just for you. And it's got all these cute little I love baking stamps. There's twelve separate stamps in there. I just thought those were so cute. And those are two separate stamps. I love the little laurel wreath. I think it's so cute. So pick that one up. Um, I did find this one by Momenta as well. Um, it kind of reminds me of a Stampendous stamp, to be honest, that's a little bit bigger, but I really liked it. Um, it's called Clear Mason Jar. And it definitely, when I show it to you, if you've seen the Stampendous one, you'll know which exactly one I'm talking about. That one was $2.49, by the way. This one's also $2.49. It's got the daisies, and it's got some bees and a dragonfly, and it's got the little bow, and it's got a heart, and it's got a little flourish, and there's the jar lid, and it's got a daisy. It says, thinking of you, just a note. It's got a little tag. It's got a butterfly. So, really cute. But it reminds me of a Stampendous set. And I did pick up the Bow Bunny um, Brisk set. Beautifully Brisk set with the deer and the acorn in it. I did not pick up the paper pad, but I did pick up one of the stamp sets. Or two of the stamp sets technically but I did pick up one of the beautifully brisk stamp sets this is $2.99 this is the one with the deer in it I just like that deer and the acorn in there and then I picked up this one by Bo Bunny for $2.99 this is the beautifully brisk set two I think that was set one and this is set two and it, this is the florals I love those florals in that I love this flower. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to color. And then I found some Halloween stamps by Hampton Art. This is an eight-piece one. It says Happy Halloween, Fall. Um, and they just call it Happy Halloween. It's got a spider web, an owl. It definitely has some fall pieces as well as some Halloween pieces in it. But that's what that looks like. And this one was $3.99. It's definitely super cute. I can't see what that one let's see what that one up there looks like. I haven't seen it yet. I think it's just a spider web up there. Yeah a little spider but I love the flourishes on them. So cute. And then I did find this one by Hampton Art as well. It's a Stampin' Die set. It's five pieces. It says Happy Halloween, Hocus Pocus, and Trick or Treat. And it's got a black cat. It was $3.99 as well. And then I found this one by Hampton Art. It's got that real pretty spider web again, a spider. And I love the broom. It's got a broom. And it's got a witch's hat. It's got a cat in the moon. It says happy haunting. And it's got some owls. But I love this broom. This broom is just... I love the broom. I could see the broom on the spine of a, of a mini album stamped out. It is so so cute look at that broom 
Look at the top of that broom. Is that not adorable? With the little spell thingies coming up off of it. And then there's the little witch's hat. It's so cute. And this was $3.99 as well. The little piece just came off of it that holds it in the package. It's weird. Then I found this by Firefly. It is a mermaid and dolphin cut and embossed set. It's got two mermaids, a dolphin, and a seahorse for $4.99. And it looks like that. If for some reason you want any of these numbers, if your locator is still working per chance and you want any of these numbers, just let me know in the description, in the comments below, and I'll gladly give you the number for any of these. And then I found this one. I saw Ida on Created to Create, and she hauled one of the momentous, one of the momentous sets, and it's got a gingerbread man, and I would give anything to have that. I love gingerbread men, but I haven't seen it. It's a gingerbread man in a mason jar. Mm. Don't you know I'm going to be stocking that one? Um, this one is a tree and some deer and a and a um, ornament, some ornaments. And it says uh, Winter Wonderland on a little sign. And this was $4.99. It's 11 pieces. And that's what they look like. Right here on the back. So pick that up. I also found this one by Tonic. It is called, it's two dies. And they are called Fay May, is what the die is called. Um, Fay and May. Sorry, Fay and May. And there is a stamp that goes with it. And I am going to be hunting for this stamp because I absolutely love the die. And I saw what it would look like with the stamp. And so I am going to see if I can hunt down the stamp. So here's what the die looks like. There are two little fairies. And that is what it looks like with the stamp. And so I am going to be on the hunt for this little stamp because I think it is just too stinking precious. So I guess I'm going to be Amazoning or Ebaying it looking for this stamp. I did find two more of my alchemy stamps by Sheena, by Sheena Douglas, and they are Lines of Destiny. I found these, I definitely know I found these while I was out of town. Um... They're called Lines of Destiny, and this is the hand. And I'll show you what it looks like. It was $4.99. Yeah. And that's the picture they have on the front, and that's what it looks like. And then I found the... Um, it's called Heat It Up basically like a little Bunsen burner and this is what it looks like there's their picture of it and then this is what the die looks like I was looking at the die and I think I can kind of alter the die a little bit to make it look like a Christmas candle let me know what you guys think so, I also found two of the Jane Davenport dies. Um, this one says, we were mermaid for each other, and it's got some waves, like mermaid scales, down here at the bottom. So pick that one up. 
And then I picked this one. I thought it was so pretty. I know for sure I got this one when I was out of town as well because I had never seen it before. It says Muse. And it was $5.99. The other one was also $5.99. And this one has got three pieces. So it's a one big die. And then an outline. And then a word. So, and that's what she looks like. I just thought she was so pretty. And she says Muse. I just thought she was so pretty. So I picked her up as well. So then I picked up a set of Bow Bunny layered chipboard embellishments. These are from the, I believe, Winter Wishes collection. They're Winter Wishes layered chipboards. Oh, these were so pretty. If I could have had a second set, I probably would have picked up a second set. These were $1.99 and that's what those look like. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. It's just been doing some laundry to catch up. Um, I did pick up two of the Bow Bunny Double Dot Jewels. I picked up a set in Ruby for $1.59. And then I also picked up the Double Dot Jewels in Blue Hues. Then I did pick up some more of the We Are Memory Keepers um, storage bottles in large glass. And this is a four piece set for $1.99. I picked up some more though. And then I found some of these cameo frames by Tim Holtz. There are four of these for a dollar ninety-nine, and I picked up those. I also picked up some more of the pocket watch cameos. There are four of these for a dollar ninety-nine, and they come with the little epoxies, so you can stick them on. And I found this. I know I found this when I was out of town because I just thought it was so interesting. It is a fleur de lis. It's gear with fleur de lis. It was $1.99 and it was 40% off. And it's a charm. This is what it looks like. And it actually turns around this gear. So the fleur de lis actually moves. So I just thought it was really neat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's just a different piece. I just thought it was really cool. So I picked that up. So I also picked up some of these. I picked up some of these last year and I really liked them. They were by Recollections. It's a 10 piece set of vellum envelopes with confetti for a dollar and 49 cents. Comes with the, I think it's kind of a hot pink. It might be a red, but I think it's a pink. Blue and green. It might be a red, blue and green confetti or sequin confetti in there. And then it comes with the 10 five and a quarter by seven and a quarter vellum envelopes. So I picked those up and I picked up two sets of those. So <clears throat> I also picked up some of this gold cording. It is stretch metallic cord ribbon by Morex Ribbon, York, Pennsylvania, made in India. It's 25 yards of 22.8 meter, 20.8 meter, I guess, meter, gold metallic stretch cording. It's 35% metallic, 65% spandex, and it's 25 yards, and it was $3.50. Forty-nine cents. They also had this in a red, but it was kind of the spool was kind of messed up, and the red was kind of messed up in parts, so I didn't pick that one up. But this one was in really good shape. And I picked up these by Heidi Swap. I wanted to give them a shot. I don't have any color sprays. And these are the Heidi Swap Color Shine. Um, it's 
sprays and so I got these this is in citron blue sarchelle or teal and in gold so I picked these up these were $4.99 if any of you have used these before let me know in the comments below what you think of these because I've never used any color sprays before of anybody's so if you've used these before let me know how well they work and then I also found these Jane Davenport hybrid ink pads the squid ink hybrid ink pads with the um, re-inkers in here it's actually a blank ink pad and then you have the inker bottle to ink up the pad and it was three dollars and 99 cents and I got the um, I got to put the you put the ink on the ink pad so I got it in silver trinket look like a really pretty silver and I got it in gold bullion and both of those were $3.99 I love that gold the gold looks so pretty so, I got it in both of those colors. Then, as always, of course, I picked up some paper. <clears throat> and my, my phone has been just, my tripod kind of had a little accident, so it broke a little bit. So, I'm going to try to show you this paper the best I can. I picked up some authentic paper. This is an 8x8 pad. It is called Gracious. It is... 12 double-sided papers so I am going to do my utmost best to show you this pad <clears throat> I had not seen it before but like I said I'm going to do my best to show it to you there are four, four pages of each design I believe so There's this page of these cut aparts here. And then this is the back of that page. Then there's this page of cut aparts. And then that's the back of that page. And then you've got that pattern right there. Oops. On the back of that pattern is this really pretty wheat pattern. And then you've got these beautiful pears. I think there's pears. Or are those avocados? No, I think they're pears. And then you've got kind of a plaid right there on the back. It's a brown. And you've got these really pretty leaves. And then you've got this real nice stripe pattern. And you've got this really interesting floral. And then on the back of that floral, you've just got a really small floral design. And that one was $3.99 and it's called Gracious. So then I picked up another 8x8 that's called Endless. Is this one? Yeah, Endless. And this one I just love. It's so vintage and so pretty. And this one has 16 designer papers and they're double sided. This one's done a little bit different. So here's your first sheet with your cut aparts. And there's your back sides, and here's your next sheet, and your back side, and here's your next sheet, and then here's your back side, here's your next sheet. Back side. I love this one with the bees. And you got this blue. 
I mean, this one is so pretty. And you got this one with his beehives. And you got this one with the mason jars with the little fireflies in it. And you got a plaid. And you got the birds. And there's a floral. And there's a stripe. And you get kind of a red and white polka dot and a yellow and white polka dot. You get a brown and white polka dot. And then you've got a different set of cut apart. And then you're back to your brown. And your blue and you've got a blue and white polka dot. And you've got this blue and white check here, or diamond pattern. And then your blue and white polka dot and your brown kind of white white your brown floor pattern kind of thing and then it starts to repeat itself again so but that one's called endless and i really thought that one was really cute it's very vintagey and then i got another one called cottage life this one's 49 in market it's called cottage life it's eight by eight it's two each of nine double-sided collection sheets and extra bonus on backside of cover sheet. So, um, and this was $4.99. And this is what your sheets look like. And it's just a really nice I like 49 in Market's paper. Hold on half a second. Sorry about that. So it's just a really nice paper. It's always super, super thick. Um, here are the, um, here's the page where it, it's got some of the little cards that you can cut apart. And then here's some of the ephemera that you can cut out. And it is just, I mean, that's super, super thick. So, but it's just, and I love the colors, but it's just adorable. It's just, the collection just looks so cute. And the colors are just so pretty. Um, so, I picked that up. I really liked it. It's called Cottage Life. And then I picked up this, even though it's just about past Halloween, and I know that I'm probably not going to get any Halloween products out because I just know I'm probably not going to. Um, I went ahead and picked this up for next year. This is by Echo Park. It's called Trick or Treat by Steve Duncan. And it has 12, 12 by 12 double-sided papers, including cover, and a 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. And... These are the papers that are in there. And then this is your sticker sheet. And I just fell in love with this paper. It is so vintage and just so adorable. And I just fell in love with it. So I picked that up. And that is going to be so much fun to play with next year when I have more time around Halloween. And then I found... Jingle by Authentique, and I think I have this in maybe an actual pad or possibly an 8x8 maybe. I don't know, but I'm thinking I might have another part of this collection already. But this is 16 double-sided papers and coordinating accents. So, here are the papers that you get. And I, I just absolutely love, love the one with the teacups. I'm positive I have some of this paper, but I love the one with the teacups. And the gingerbread houses and, like, the old ribbon candy. I love those. And 
Then there's another one with the candy. There's level. And then here's the ones with, here's the back with the element sheet on it. I just absolutely love this collection. I think it's so, so pretty. And I love the Santa in it. I just love this vintage Santa. He's so cute. So I picked that up and that was $6.99. So while I was, we're at 30 minutes. So while I was out of town, um, I did pick up a few things at my conference. I picked up some of these little, these are by um, a company called, or the company I bought them from is Stamp on it. But I did pick up some of these little bitty tiny glue bottles with the little um, lids on them instead of the needles inside them because, oh, I needed a couple of glue bottles. So I picked up three of these while I was out of town at my conference. Um, I did pick up the prettiest glitter um, it's called Candy Cane. It's kind of a gold with red running through it. And it's such a pretty, pretty color. If you can see that color without the glare, maybe. I don't know. The glare is kind of bad, but it's the prettiest color. It is um, by Stickles. I think I paid $2 for it at the conference. So um, I also picked up some of these. These are called, uh, it's Vintage Hues. They're um, on acetate. And I picked up some of these to do something with. I just thought these were so pretty. And then I picked up, um, these are called Sticky Pecs. Um, and I have four A4 sheets. And these were some of the funnest things. They're by Ecstasy Crafts. Oh, my goodness, these things are amazing to play with. You put something down on these things and rub it, and then they stick to whatever you want them to stick to. It is so nice. Had a blast playing with those things. And then I also picked up a stamp set um, relatively cheaply. It's called Giving Thanks by Stampin' Up, um, close to my heart. It was the one that they used in the demo um, during our class, and so I got it relatively cheaply. Um, so, but it was a really cute little stamp set. It's got some real cute little pieces to it, if you can see those, maybe. Um, really cute little fall pieces. This actually has a die that goes with this piece right here that I need to contact her and get. Um, or unless one of you all happens to be a great Stampin' Up! rep and you have a good deal on this little die here. <laughs> so, but um, I need to pick up that die. So, that was everything I picked up while I was at my conference and everything I picked up at Tuesday morning while I was out of town and in town. So, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below because I would love to chat with you guys. I have missed you all so much. And with that, I am going to hop off of here and I will see you guys again very soon because I have another video to upload for you all. And I hope it won't be so long in between videos next time. Sorry, I'm down so low. There we go. So hopefully it won't be so long in between videos next time and we can chat again because I have definitely missed you guys. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here because I've taken up enough of your all's time and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and thanks for not, you know, running away and thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Bye.